Hey yo, what is up everybody? Chuck here and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. And in today's video, I am basically going to be ruining my entire Pokemon collection. We are going to be doing the transfer challenge, a game that I made up laying in bed and here's how it works. I'm gonna be popping an incense, which will give me six random Pokemon over the next half hour. My goal is to guess the Pokemon or its CP before it spawns in so that I don't have to roll these dice and transfer one of my best Pokemon. Now, I don't have to guess the CP exactly because obviously that would be impossible, but I do have to be within 50 points. If I'm wrong on that or the type of Pokemon, I roll the dice. There are six Pokemon that spawn in. For the first Pokemon that spawns in, we roll one dice. If we get that wrong, one of my six best Pokemon will be transferred. For the second Pokemon that spawns in, if I guess wrong, I roll two dice and so on through all six Pokemon. Now I also have a few Pokemon in gym, so if I get the first one wrong and I roll a two, it would be my Rhydon, my 2714 Rhydon. Because it's in the gym, can't transfer it, basically like free parking Monopoly. If you're confused right now, don't worry about it. You'll probably figure it out as we go along. If you do understand, feel free to play along. You can test your luck by guessing the Pokemon that spawn off of my incense. All you need is your Pokemon Go app and a couple dice. I have six of them because I feel like I'm gonna get them all wrong. Without further ado, let's pop that incense. All right, so my guess for the first Pokemon is that it's going to be a Geodude. We have a lot of them here. It would make sense that one would spawn in off of an incense and that the CP is going to be 248. So that means that if the Pokemon that spawns in first is a Geodude, I don't have to transfer anything, don't have to roll a dice and we wait for the next one. Or if the CP is between 198 and 298, it falls within the safety range. And again, I don't have to roll the dice. Ponyta, Ponyta, all right. There's a chance that it falls into that CP range, 198 to 298. It's gonna be higher, I can feel it. 338, why is it using this? We don't need the AR camera, 338. I guess 248, so that's out of my range. I guess we'll try and catch it, oh Lord. Uh, you know what, I don't even wanna catch this Ponyta. I'm gonna roll one dice because that was the first one. I just hope to God it's not a one, a three, or a four. If it's a two, five, or six, I don't have to transfer anything. Just not a one, not a three, and not a four. It's a one. That means this beautiful Dragonite that I evolved because of all of these rare spawns we've been having recently with Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw, 2768, my best Pokemon. is now gone. Man, we are off to a great start, aren't we? Now there's a chance that I actually lose a Gyarados or a Snorlax right here. One of them is Bite Hydro Pump, the other one has Zen Headbutt Hyper Beam. If I get it wrong, I use two dice, there's a chance I could roll a two or a three. My prediction for the next Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna go with Venonat and 283 CP. So basically anything between 233 and 333, I don't have to transfer anything. Come on, baby, give me a Venonat. Venonat, 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 please sit, Rattata. Okay, I picked a good range though, 233 to 333. Unless it's a really bad Rattata. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, see, I was fucking mm, spot on with that one. So it had to fall between the range of 233 and 333, and it did, which means I don't have to do a two dice roll, which means the next one's gonna be Three dice if I get it, which which basically saves, I think, my Gyarados from ever having to transfer it, which is great. All right, we got 45 seconds until the next Pokemon spawns in. My guess for Pokemon number three is a Diglett. They spawn in everywhere. Right now we got a Pidgey and a Geodude right here, which is fantastic. I'm thinking CP for the Diglett, 237. Diglett, CP, 237. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. They spawn in everywhere. Give me a Diglett, 237. A Diglett, 237. Come on, baby. Come on, but drowsy. Okay, just as long as it's between 187 and 287, we're good. I've got a feeling it's gonna be higher. 187 to 287, please, please, please. 402, please, not a Snorlax or a Gyarados. Three dice, here we go. <clears throat> here they are, three fair dice. Roll it in my fancy black box. Uh, we've got two twos and a five. That comes out to nine. Hopefully you can see it. There's really no other way for me to do it. We roll the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is this 2570 Rhydon with Mud Slap and Stone Edge. Let's appraise it real quick. It's above average. 
Goodbye, Street Prince. <laughs> I hate this game. Why am I playing this game? All of this hard work for nothing. Just to transfer, just to click once and get rid of it and say bye. That's not fun. Why am I doing this? All right, so we've got half a minute until the next one spawns in. I'm starting to lean towards Pidgey or Rattata. I think I'm gonna go with Rattata. Um, I want to do another low CP, but just in case, I might go a little bit higher in case it's not a Rattata and it's some other Pokemon that normally has higher CP. So I'm gonna go with a Rattata that is, um, 263. A 263 Rattata, which basically means anything between 213 and 313 is golden. Oh, it's an Eevee. It's an Eevee. Nothing higher than 313. Please. That is why I shouldn't guess only low CPs. Okay, well, we have an Eevee. 554, that means we're rolling four dice. That was the fourth Pokemon. Four dice, here we come. So at the very least, we're gonna get a Vaporeon. That is our highest CP Pokemon left that we can get with four dice. We'd obviously have to roll all four ones for that. Or we could get up to 24, which would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Anywhere through the pincer. So there's a chance we lose that Charizard, Snorlax, Dragonite, couple of Gyarados. <laughs> Let's not do that. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what it is. 4, 3, 4, 2. That's 8. That's 11. That's 13. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Looks like the executor. Let me double check. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Executor with Confusion and Solar Beam, uh, which I actually evolved last night and was really, really excited about. Uh, I guess I can't be excited about it anymore because it is now gone. I really hope you guys didn't just miss that. I had to evolve an Executor. The one I evolved last night, I was really excited about it, found out it had really great IVs, and now it's gone and my camera turned off. As if anything could get worse, I've lost a Dragonite and my best Executor. Let's go with Rattata 293. Rattata 293, so basically anything between 243 and 343. Hopefully you guys understand that by now and you don't think I'm just making up numbers. If I'm spot on, once again, I get my Dragonite back. I just have to call Niantic or something. Rattata 293. Rattata 293. Come on, baby. Watch it be like an Onyx. Please don't be an Onyx. Although then the CP might be right. Another Ponyta! If this is a high CP Ponyta, I'm gonna be livid. I will be livid. 293, baby. Mm. I hate this game! That's five dice. Let's open up our Pokemon list. Five dice. I'm just praying I get to keep... Oh, I wish I could do it from that end. Uh, we gotta start by combat power. I'm just hoping I get to keep my Gyarados. I only have one Dragonite left. I, I can't get rid of both of them. If I roll a 12 with five dice, I'll be the unluckiest human alive. Please. Five dice. If I get a 12, I'm, I might just end the video. Thank God. It's not a 12. Uh, five, six, that's 11, 14, 20, 22, it looks like. Let me go ahead and show that to you. Uh, 12, 17, 20, 22. Can you see it? 22! That is the 22nd Pokemon in the list. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 22. It's a uh, 2226 Charizard with Wing Attack and Fire Blast. And it's now gone. My best Charizard is now gone. I I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought I was going to get Pidgeys and Rattatas with a bunch of shitty CPs like I always do. But no. Ponyta. Fuck you, Ponyta. I'm thinking Abra. I'm thinking this one's going to be an Abra, although because I said Abra, it's going to be either a Pidgey or a Rattata. Uh, Abra and... 375 CP, so anything between 325 and 425, give me that Abra, baby. I don't want to transfer it. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was a Snorlax that spawned in at the bottom of my screen. It was a Rhyhorn. Damn it! Abra, 375. Abra, 375. It's a goddamn, it's a Zubat. Fuck you, Zubat. Fuck. Fuck you, Zubat. It does not fall in my um, 325 to 425 range. F honestly, fuck Zubat. Let's just hope that we don't roll a uh, 7, 9, 12, 13. Please, none of those numbers. Five, 10, 15, 19, 21, 22. I think we just had 22. Our 22nd best Pokemon is 
God, it's gonna be one that I really, 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 really need. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, pincer. You know what? Thank God it was a pincer. That's one of the Pokemon I don't care about at all. Oh, that's a relief. I, I made it out alive. I did get rid of my best Pokemon. Literally, my Dragonite, my number one, I've had it for less than 12 hours. It's gone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see another one of these, maybe a couple weeks down the line after I recover fully from transferring my best fucking Dragonite, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If we get to 4,000 likes on this video, I will do another one in the future. It's a little bit painful. So if any of you guys played along with me and you ended up getting rid of one of your really good Pokemon, feel free to tweet a screenshot at me. We can cry together or send it to me on Instagram. Once again, we can, we can cry together in DMs. If you're new here and you like Pokemon Go, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure you've got notifications turned on. A lot of people haven't been seeing my videos hit their sub boxes, so make sure when you click subscribe right next to it, there's a bell. Make sure the bell has like a little ringing effect to it. Love you guys, take it easy.